Yeah. So, do you think uh, Vega will be higher when the time to expire is less, or do you think Vega will be lower when the time to expire is less? Do you think the Vega increases or decreases with time? For gamma, we saw that gamma increases with time. <coughs> so, uh, what with respect to Vega? Increase? Decrease. Decrease. Okay, so how do you quickly explain why Vega decreases with time? Vega is a rate of fitness for the For example, if there is volume <coughs> expiration and you assume high volatility in this option, you have more time to like, exercise that option at any point of time. Because if it's very close to the equation, you hardly have any time to wait for the volatility to move the strike prices so that your option is Yeah, okay. So basically, if there is less time to expire. Say the annualized volatility has gone up from 10% to 200%, but then there is only 5 seconds left for the market to expire. So the underlying can't move a lot. But if there is a one full year left, and the implied volatility, the, the expected volatility has changed by just one percentage, annualized. So the, every day you will have slightly more movement in the underlying. So therefore, a change in the vol volatility levels uh, will have a much more greater impact if there is much higher time left to expire. Yeah. So, Vega is very high, uh, uh, decreases which uh, uh, towards expiry. So, what do we see? Vega and Gamma have contrasting uh, characteristics which are to time. So, when you are managing an option book, at the start of the month, uh, at the, uh, when you are further away from expiry, it's mostly about <coughs> trading volatilities and trading beggars. So if you are uh, initiating a position, you uh, balance your beggar in one month versus the beggars in another month uh, as per different weightages and all those things. Okay. And then uh, closer towards expiry, you need to keep your gamma and uh, uh, charm and things up, things up that sort in uh, 